I think every paramotor pilot is familiar with the feeling. Every single time you get a new piece of gear, the weather just goes downhill. You have to look at it in your living room, sitting in the box. And I can't say that today is a perfect day as I look up and the clouds are hauling ass, but I think it's gonna be doable. By the way, Jared, this is some of that Columbia. Thanks for sending that over. You're the freaking man with the hookup. And uh, we got a safety hazard right here. Half my deck is missing. More on that in a future video. So good work to anyone who commented on the last video guessing what wing this was. In this box is a Spider 3 20 meter and uh, it's one of three wings I have on the way. More on that later. As everyone knows, one of the most important things as you unbox a brand new wing is to not cut through the packaging and slice a big hole in your wing. So naturally, I say we use the biggest knife possible. Here's your Spider 3 20 meter. Enjoy your fall flying and hopefully we'll see you and Jacqueline here in Florida soon. Nell and the team at Aviator. Okay, so Spider 3 20 meter. Why? First things first, I want to move through every single ozone paramotor wing and basically do two videos on them. A first impressions review and then a very in-depth, detailed, full-on product review. Second, Spider 320Y, this is the perfect wing for Jacqueline. What is the Spider about? So the Spider is a B-rated wing. For a lot of pilots, this could mean it's your second wing after flying a Mojo in training. If you're a guy that picks up the sport really fast, this could be the first wing you purchase. What is the Spider about? It kind of goes in this category of beginner towards intermediate. It's a very versatile wing in that sense, but there's something else that makes the Spider special, and that's that it's a lightweight wing. Now, the Spider 3 and the Roadster 3 are brother and sister. They're basically the same exact wing, however, the Spider is the lightweight version. What does that mean? Easy inflations. That's one of the biggest things that the Spider is known for. If you're out on a zero wind morning, possibly with a slight tailwind, that Spider guy is gonna get his wing up and go 100% of the time. It's wet out here. The clouds are still hauling ass, but hopefully we'll get a test flight in tonight. Before we go any further, let me address this. Oh, B. Bias. Now, some people get really tripped up about bias when it comes to these product-related videos. So as far as bias goes, in my last couple of videos, I've talked about how I recently became a dealer under Aviator Paramotor for ozone, fly products, and Parajet products. That means if you want any of those items, you can get them through me on my web store, shoot me an email, I'll help you out. Now, some may say that makes me extraordinarily biased towards ozone products, but here's the thing. I've been flying and representing, showing off ozone products on my channel for many years now without receiving a dime in compensation for it. I really, truly like ozone products. And now that I'm able to actually sell them, it makes for a very honest and transparent type relationship. I like these products. I want to share them with you guys. And if you guys happen to want to buy an ozone product, I'd be more than happy to help you out with it. So take it for what you will. My two cents is I always want to be really, really honest and transparent with you guys and putting out my bias ahead of time, I think is the best way to do it. But at the same time, I'm going to tell you not only the good things about all these products, I'm also going to tell you if something sucks. Truthfully, no wing is perfect. No motor is perfect. When things break, I show it. If there's a feature about the wing that I don't like, I'll talk about it. He's Girl. like, I like this truck. <laughs> yeah. Oh, both of you. Come on. Come on. You dogs. Go that way. Go that way. Go on. Come on. Go on. Oh. Do you remember what colors this was? I showed them to you, but I forgot by now. I feel like I picked the girly color because it was like 
kind of your thing. Aw. A bag, inside a bag, inside a bag. I was brown. I was wrong. Look at that. Crispiness. Jacqueline, smell it. Nothing like laying out your brand new crispy glider on wet grass. Look at that. Look at that. It's like a cool. slinky. Gotta break her in right. It's so small. Do you see that? Okay, let's see if we can do an inflation without using the A's, just the brakes. It feels so small and light. Okay, I'm gonna go get my motor. I'm gonna film and fly this around. And if the air is good or closer to sunset, Jackelson, you gonna fly it? Mm -hmm. Sweet. Clear prow. Oh! <laughs> comes out with new um, model wings, as this is the Spider 3, there was a normal Spider, they've got the Mojo, they've got the Mojo 2, there's the Viper, the Viper 4, periodically they come up with updates on old wings, and I will be the first to admit I'm a skeptic when it comes to those things. You know, you always see the product review videos, and whoever's making them is like, oh yes, the, the handling is better. The flare is better. The efficiency, better. It's just always funny. And the product descriptions and everything, they're just always so generic. And I always laugh at it and I always am skeptical about it. But I will tell you my very much first impressions. Five minutes into this flight, right from the get-go, I feel like the handling is very, very nice. You know, I was just doing some slalom things and uh, this is complete stock configuration. And it doesn't feel doggy or boaty. It feels like it's ready to rock and roll. I did a couple touch and goes just now, and I did the thing where you purposely flare high and get your arms all the way down before you touch the ground. And the flare felt very powerful. Now, one thing on that the statement, I am flying the 20 meter and I'm probably at the top or a little bit overweight on this wing. So it is gonna handle a little more dynamic and it is gonna have a more powerful flare. So one thing I'm gonna investigate thoroughly when I do the comprehensive review, review is gonna be the speed range. Um, I wanna get figures with my GPS and see how quick this wing really is in each trim configuration. But I may as well just play with the trims a little bit now. So we're sitting here, trim neutral, and we'll just go ahead and dump the freaking trims, see how much speed we pick up. I felt more wind hit my face, I'll tell you that much. Yes siree, we're definitely going faster. <laughs> the most scientific review. First impressions. I will say it does feel nice and stable trimmed out. Like, I'm going through some bumps and it doesn't feel like it wants to oscillate. Worst speed, Martin! We're doing it! Top speed! 
speed on the Splendor 320 meter. She shows no signs of wanting to explode, so that's always good. Well, let's try some big ears. Because why not? Nice, nice. She does big ears. And they pop out pretty quickly when you let go. That's good, that's cool. Like I said, I always laugh at freaking wing reviews because it's like, oh yes, the handling is so nice. The uh, whatever is so nice. But honestly, man, this is no tip steering. Stock configuration. And she goes big. And she's predictable. Like, that on rails feeling with the energy and everything. Oh, my helmet got stuck on my freaking cage or something there. <laughs> I hope I'm caught. Jacqueline's first launch, Spider 3, 20 meter. I think she's gonna crush it. Eww. She looks so much more proportionate under that wing. It's funny when like a pilot with long legs flies a small wing, Eric, it looks kind of funny. And when a small pilot flies a big wing, Jacqueline, it looks kind of funny, but she looks like totally proportionate now. the motor all right that time? Totally fine. Weird. <laughs> yeah, I think we just have to shorten the brake lines up a hair for you so you can actually punch it with your short little arms. Jacqueline, despite intermittent engine issues, <laughs> what do you think of the Spider Mobile 5000? I think I might like it better than the Roadster. I felt like it just wanted to stay like rigid yeah. and like not really move. And the thing is, like, the Roadster 3 you have versus this Spider 3, they should fly, like, very similar, except yours was a 22 and this is a 20, so you're just, yeah. like, increasing your loading. Yeah. And the inflation will be easier because lightweight. It was so easy. Yeah. I felt like all I had to do was just, like, step forward and it would come up. Neat. I like it. Good flying, Jackelson 5000. Thanks. We have to figure out what's going on with my motor. Yeah, look at that exhaust. Maybe there's a leaf inside the intake after I blew the whole yard with it. Yeah, I think it happened before then. I chased some geese. Good work. Did you see any of them crop dust? No, but there were a lot of them. All right, so here's my concluding thoughts after one day, one session of flying on the Spider 3 20 meter. I was truly impressed by the handling. You know, to get the wingtip down to the horizon, I was surprised how effortless that was and how well it carried the energy. And I was also impressed by the flare authority. I was able to hold brake up high on approach, let it out, 
get that swoop and energy into a foot drag, just chill and then roll into the flare. And this is with the brake lines completely stock. Since I filmed this, I've shortened them about three inches, which I'm gonna test and make sure is still safe. But I think that'll give even better flare authority, especially for Jacqueline. Now, obviously, as I mentioned, the Spider is made out of lightweight fabric, so that makes the inflation really, really easy. Jacqueline observed that on her first couple flights with it. In the past, on a Roadster, if there's zero wind, she carries some power to get the wing up, but I think with the Spider, she won't have to do that. Now, the lightweight fabric, is kind of a give and take. There's pros and cons to it. Obviously, it increases the performance in the inflation. However, here's how I'll put it. If you have a sample of the lightweight fabric and a sample of the normal fabric, and you put them through the exact same torture test scientifically in a lab, obviously the lightweight fabric is going to wear out quicker. But here's the thing. If you're someone like myself who primarily flies off of grass, not on abrasive surfaces, you will have no problem with the lightweight fabric. However, if you are a pilot that flies out west off of desert terrain, maybe launches on asphalt all the time, gets their wing wet, abuses their wing a lot, in that case, I would say go for the Roadster because it's made of the normal weight fabric and it has the same sort of performance and characteristics as the Spider. Another con I wanna point out. So on all ozone wings I've ever flown, you can always let the trimmer all the way out to full speed on just the trimmer and still monkey around on the brake toggles no problem. Once you engage the speed bar is when you have to start using tip steering. Now it's my understanding that the new Speedster 3 changes. It has a secondary red line. The first red line is your neutral position where you fly most of the time, but then everything past the second red line, you're not supposed to use your main brake toggles. And this is something different. Now I noticed when I was pulling the Spider 3 out of the package that it had a second red line, something I have never seen in person before. But then when I consulted the manual, it did not mention the red line and it said specifically on the Spider 3 that you can still monkey around on the brake toggle with the trimmers all the way out. Now to me, this is confusing. I don't understand why there's a second red line. I talked to my buddy Johnson about it and he said he thinks it's just a reference line, but my response is kind of like, why not just have it white instead of red? It's still a reference mark, but it doesn't indicate any difference in significance if it's also white. So that's kind of a gripe, a little uh, thing that I would wanna change. Maybe um, I'm wrong, maybe it is significant, but I'm just kind of confused about the whole thing. If you're interested in getting a Spider 3 yourself, hit me up, info at tuckergot.com or on the web store and I can answer your questions about it and get you set up with one if you'd like to fly one. Additionally, this package was just delivered. That is gonna be a Mojo Power 2 uh, 24 meter, which I'm really excited about because the Mojo is the A wing, it's the safest wing and you can pull collapses on it and be relatively safe. So look forward to a first impressions on that wing very soon, followed by a full in-depth review as well. So till the next one, have fun, fly safe. See ya. Peace. Mm -hmm.